So we're here at OzCon 2017 at the West Plains Civic Center. I'm sitting with Tony Globus. She is a cosplay queen and yes. a special guest here at the show. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Doing okay. Good, good. So for those people who might not know what cosplay is, to you, what is it? Okay, cosplay to me, and there are a lot of people have different definitions of what cosplay is and things like that. Cosplay to me is when you sit and you create a character, whether that character already exists or not. But if the character does exist, you have to create it for yourself. So you create a character for yourself and you present it to the world, whether it be at a con or a parade or a festival or whatever. You create the character, you put the clothes on, you put the accent on, you put contacts in, whatever, and then you go out and you give it to the world. That's cosplay. How long have you been doing this? Forever. <laughs> I, I started, I, my mom and I made me. Um, the Gremlins uh, costume when I was like eight. She helped me make it. I love Gremlins. Um, so <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I mean, I guess I started cosplaying when I was eight. But I mean, all kids, technically, all kids cosplay. Right. You know. So as far as me doing it in my adult life, since I was a teenager, maybe even a little before, I just I was younger, so I didn't take it to the ex more extreme level as I do now. And where are you based out of? Um. Currently, I live and work in Branson. Um, I'm originally from Chicago. My cosplay and theater career, because that's what I do professionally, uh, was in Chicago for 22 years. Uh, shifted down to Branson. My mom moved to Branson, so I moved with her because she had some health issues. And then um, I've just kind of been doing this out of Branson. So. I get my mail there, I live there, I have a house there, I have a dog there, things like that, you know, I have a life there, but everything else happens around everywhere else, so that's kind of where you go. Now, you're not just uh, doing judging of the cosplay contest no. later, you are doing, and you were telling me about this last night when we first mm -hmm. met, yep. tea dueling. Tea dueling is going to happen right here at this table, actually, in about 45 minutes. Well, how um, does that work? So tea dueling is, uh, it's, it's the British court equivalent of a pistol duel. So in the Wild West, when you had a dispute with somebody, you would call them to a duel, right? right? And essentially when you're in a pistol duel, you're playing chicken with somebody else to see who's going to shoot first. It works the same way with tea dueling. You are given a cup. I supply you with cups, tea, and biscuits. You have to supply yourself with either the opponent, and if you don't have one, we'll give you one. We'll just find somebody, and they will be your opponent. And then you have to bring your dispute. If you don't have one, we'll make one up. And then you are sitting across from each other, and you are going to be in a pistol duel using a biscuit that has been dipped in tea. Once the biscuit has been drawn from the tea, you are then playing chicken with the other person to see who's going to eat it first. Interesting. Sounds fun. It is fun. And most people are like, well, where's the sport and the competition in that? It's not as easy as it just sounds like you dip a biscuit in tea and you eat it. There's way more to it than that, but that's the gist of it. And you're also doing teapot racing? Teapot racing. Splendid teapot racing. Uh, it's an event that was started in New Zealand by the Steampunk Society there. It was brought over a couple years ago, and there are tea, teapot racing events that happen all over the place. So if you make a racer for this event, Tomorrow, that racer can be used in any teapot racing event that happens anywhere. Because all of the rules are standard rules. Everybody has to um, apply and make their racer based on the same things. So it's not like this is just a one-time special event for OzCon. This is an international sporting event that happens. Now, go, kind of going back to the cosplay thing, your outfit is... Fantastic. You. There's so a proud. lot I'm going so on here. You've got one. you've got wrenches. You've got arm yeah. pads. You've got over or not overalls, but the suspenders. straps, suspenders. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. Got toad. You got toad and, and a bunch star of star guy. So. How, how do you put this together? You know, this just kind of happened. So, I have I do a lot of steampunk. That's what I do. I do steampunk. And uh, and um, a friend of mine who's a vendor here, she's like, oh yeah, West Plains Ozcon. You know, it's more of a gaming con and. Most of my steampunk characters, and anybody who knows steampunk knows that, for the most part, it's like browns and grays and blacks, and it's kind of drab, and it doesn't use a lot of color and things like that. And so I decided that I should maybe make a gaming character steampunk, but then I couldn't really come up with a gaming character, and then I was like, oh my god, Mario's got like pipes and wrenches, so I hijacked 
some kids toys and made this little tool belt and just kind of went from there I mean my shoulder my shoulders have got some plumbing pieces and stuff on them they're actually just plumbers they're, these are actual plumbers knee pads interesting um, that I've just made smaller and shifted up onto my shoulders and um, kind of drabbed everything out and these are just regular striped socks that I had to dye to make them a little darker so that it's not so rainbow brighty mm -hmm. you know but yeah that's interesting and so it's just kind of whatever comes to it you it just kind of happens yeah like the hat didn't happen this hat I love it it says it's a me Mario um, <laughs> it didn't really uh, the hat didn't really happen until after I'd already made the outfit because a lot of times I don't I don't make a hat or I don't wear a hat and I was like man Mario really needs a hat because of the big M like because right. that's going to that's going to give it away because right. nobody's going to know who I am so I just bought a generic uh, bowler hat put the M on it and I was like well that's too plain so then I just started adding things to it and then I'm like well it's just a hat with an M on it so then the it's a me came and then the mushrooms came and then this kind of just my little pipe wherever it is right here just kind of happened like I don't know because I needed a place for this chain to go so there you go came together yeah everything kind of followed another it's a chain reaction you know now you also are selling uh, jewelry and other items here do, do you have a website online I, where you I, can I have a, I have an Etsy um, it's www.etsy Tony Globus or slash Tony forward backslash forward, forward slash forward slash Tony Globus dot okay. com whatever um, you can just get on there type in Tony Globus it'll come up and uh, I don't have a lot on there right now um, just because I've been doing a lot of touring work and things like that so I've been kind of neglecting the Etsy page a little bit but I always take commission work and stuff like that on Facebook you could get on a message me say hey I want this can I see whatever um, the things that I have today are um, things that have come off of my Etsy shop and I have changed the pricing and stuff to make it available only for OzCon um, even my Poison Ivy costume over there is OzCon price only so if anybody here today in the next few days wants that costume now's the time to get it so um, but yeah it's it's uh, it's just it's what I do in my free time um, so I sit around and I get bored and I just I kind of make I call them art necklaces because they're not totally functional but they mm. look fabulous all right well um, thank you for talking <laughs> with us today we appreciate your time and uh, yeah. we'll see you around at the con awesome all right yeah. Good Tony Globus again. Check her out on Facebook, Etsy, and online pretty much everywhere. Just type in Tony Globus. I'm there like the only one. <laughs> All right, thanks for talking with us. <laughs> yeah, today. you bet.